Hello lovelies! Thank you so much for being here today. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated brow routine. Um, I've kind of been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I feel like the tutorial that I did a while back on my channel, not only was it really, really long, but I actually no longer use powders anymore or just my current updated routine is no longer using a powder. So, um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to update you guys on how I do my brows. Um, I'm really, really liking how easy it is to do. And so yeah, let's get started. If you see me looking this way, it is because I have my mirror over here. So I might be like this a lot and that's okay. Um, first things first, there are a few things that I want to go over with, um, with doing brow maintenance and things like that. I mean, I mentioned all this stuff in my last video, but I kind of just want to go over it again in case you're new to my channel. Let's start with tweezing your brows. A lot of people like to tweeze from the top and that's okay, um, but you don't want to do too much. You typically want to tweeze uh, below and that's what's going to lift your brow and give you that arch. I'll be honest with you, years ago, back when I thought I knew what I was doing with my eyebrows, I would uh, tweeze from the top down and that's not really correct. I was basically having a line of an eyebrow and that's not what you want unless that is what you want but if you want a like an, an arched brow then you're going to want to start from the bottom and now you're here. Normally yeah I would tweeze the kind of straggler type of hairs that you find up there and that's okay but typically you want to start from the bottom of your brow and tweeze up. The thing is, is about brows is that if you happen to tweeze too much, that's what you can do with the makeup. You can fill it in, you can make it look like you didn't make a mistake, and you can get by. So um, if you do tweeze a little bit too much, then that's okay. Sometimes I do get stragglers <laughs> of hairs up here, and like right now I do, but I seem to have misplaced my tweezers right before I decided to film, so lucky me. We all go through awkward brow stages. Um, I definitely, definitely went through that. So um, if you are having an awkward brow stage, it's okay. You're paying your dues right now. We all have to do it at some point. I have a base on, but I do not have anything on my brows right now. This is what my brows look like all natural. Um, the current product that I'm actually using is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, I would have to say that this, that this is a drugstore dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is amazing. Yeah, Anastasia has fantastic products, but if you're looking for a drugstore price, this is a really, really good um, option here. Um, yeah, this is in the shade Brunette, and um, it's very, it comes to a very thin point. I don't know if you can see that. And it also has a spoolie on the end which is typical of a lot of brow pencils. But um, yeah, this product is awesome. I love it. I would recommend it to anybody, especially if you're new to brows. It's a drugstore price and it pretty much does the same thing and it's just great. I definitely, definitely love this. So um, yeah, let me zoom you guys in and then we'll get started with the tutorial. Okay, so hopefully I have you guys zoomed in. Welcome to my face. A good uh, rule of thumb about shaping your brows, either shaping or even tweezing, um, is, is this. Take the pencil that you have, um, or just any pencil really, this is just a stick. A stick would do just fine for this. You're going to want to take your pencil and you line it up next to your nostril. And when you do that, that right there should show the line of just about where your brows should begin. So that way you get a good indicator of where your brows should begin. I know I've had a lot of people ask me that question before. How do you know how far to stop? Because you'll see a lot of people whose brows, they start way over here or they're way <laughs> in closer. And you're not going to want that. You want them nicely separated. Um, and anything, yeah, anything between this line here, you can tweeze away. Now, I have very full brows. So I don't really have to fill in that much. Um, mostly just towards the end is what I have to fill in. I will tweeze some straggler hairs down here um, and then some up here that I just randomly get. Um, they have eyebrow razors that you can just kind of go in and quickly get all that fuzz. Anything like that, you can just use the brow razor and clear that out. 
Um, but yes, typically a rule of thumb, you're gonna, um, I like to leave all this kind of fuzzy, <laughs> if you can see all those hairs sticking up, I like my brows to look as natural as possible. Um, I do want them to look defined and I do like them to look perfect, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of women do. And that's okay. If you don't want your brows to look perfect, that's okay. Makeup is fun. Do what you want to do. But I like my brows to look perfect, but natural. So I like to keep these here and I typically don't fill those in very much at all. Um, I will um, fill it in down here below just so I can kind of fill in those sparse areas. If you can see right there, I've got like a little piece of skin showing and I like to fill all that in. Now, if you stay by your nostril and move your pencil over and it goes between, it goes where your pupil is. Um, so if you line it up here and it goes through your pupil, that right there is pointing where your brow arch should begin. If you put your pencil still staying where your nostril is and then you line it up with the outside of your eye, that is where your brow should end. Now, if you notice, my eyebrows in their natural state do not meet that requirement. I have a reason for that. And it's because I tweeze just a little bit off at the end of my brows because I like to fill that part in because I really like it sharp as all get out. So, <laughs> that's why I tweeze just a little bit. I know a lot of ladies who tweeze way far up here and that's okay. I personally don't do that. I, I like to keep my brows looking pretty natural without makeup. So that's why I only tweeze just a little bit off at the end so I can fill that part in myself. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, I like to go ahead and give my brows just a quick brush through. I usually start with the very beginning um, section of my brow. So I'll just start filling in and keep in mind that if you make a mistake, if you go out of your brow zone, that's okay because you can always clean that up with concealer later. So don't be afraid of that. I do it all the time, all the time. So I'll just go ahead and fill that in. See how easy that was to fill in that little sparse area. And then I give it a quick brush through and it just blends the color in so it looks a lot more natural. And sometimes I will go here and just kind of fill that in just a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my brow, my brow, my brow pencil, and I'm just gonna use small strokes. And I said this in my last video, but this is a fun tip. It's not really fun, but it's a tip that I do all the time. Um, if you want to know what your natural brow shape will look like or should look like, furrow your brows. If you furrow your brow, you'll see where your brow shape should be. So I like to always furrow my brows like so. And that's when I start filling them in. I always look so angry when I do my brows. <laughs> now you're gonna take your spoolie and you're gonna brush the hair down. And this is where you're gonna fill in the top part. So you're gonna furrow your brows again and you're gonna start up here and start filling in that's when you're gonna bring your brows up and you're gonna lift them. You can see the difference between my natural brow and my filled in brow. For this part, um, I like to use just a flat brush. This specific brush, um, this is a, an everyday brush that I use. I got this from Coastal Scents. Um, I will link them down below if you want to check them out. Awesome products. I love their stuff. Um, they're very, very affordable. So if you're interested in Coastal Scents, I'll link that down below. No, this is not a sponsored video. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just love Coastal Scents. This is the BRB S14 brush. Now, you can use any kind of concealer you want. Um, here's the, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I also have, here's the Maybelline Fit Me. These are just some of my favorite concealers. You can use e any concealer that you want to, but for me, <clears throat> my favorite for carving out brows ever is going to be my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is in the shade NW20. I love this stuff. I've had it for a long time and I use it every single day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take your, I can do this without looking dumb. 
Anyway, so you're gonna take your concealer and your brush and you're just going to get a decent amount of product on there. What you're gonna do is I typically, it doesn't matter really where you start. I usually start with my arch. I don't know why that is, but everyone's different. So start wherever you want. And um, I just take this brow or this brush and I just slowly start carving out. And now you can probably start to see why and how it's okay that you make those mistakes with your brows <laughs> or with your uh, with your brow pencil. This is also where you can really shape up the end, the tail end of your brow. And, uh, and it looks really sharp. I also like to go in here and sharpen this up. And so then I go back to furrowing my brows and I will use some concealer here and just shape up the top. Also, what I like to do is to set my brows. There are plenty of brands out there, drugstore-wise, that offer um, blah, blah. <laughs> that offer brow gels. Um, but today, I'm going to use to set my brow. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, this is just the clear one. They have a lot of ones that have tint in them, so you're putting color back into your brows if you really like that full color. But I'm just going to go with a clear brow gel because mine are pretty full as it is. So this is basically just to set your brows. It will keep your hairs down because a lot of times throughout the day, your hair will just kind of go everywhere with the brows and you want to make sure that they, you know, don't do that. Um, another trick that you could do, you could go to a beauty store, maybe Sally Beauty Supply or Ulta, either one like that, and pick up some disposable spoolies. And what you can do with those is you can use those, spray a little bit of hairspray on them, and then you can use that to set your brows as well. So um, yeah, that's exactly the difference between my brow. Now I know that I, I currently don't have any makeup on except uh, my base. And so I know that my brows are coming on really strong <laughs> without actual makeup on. But that's okay because once I put makeup on, everything kind of balances out. All right, you guys, well, this is the makeup look done. Um, yeah, see, I told you that even though it's a dramatic look, I told you that um, the makeup will balance out the brows. Um, but with a full face of makeup, it really just balances everything out. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you find it helpful and I hope that you guys like this video. If so, please don't forget to hit that button down below and subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it if you can. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.